Hello YouTube, Luigi here. This is a total experiment. I've got a third camera set up, an old antique eyeball with crummy resolution. I've boosted it to the max. And it's not even a widescreen camera, even though the computer screen it's staring at is widescreen. So I'm going to do my best to keep whatever I do here in the frame. Uh, I'm going to draw, this is sort of an experiment, I'm going to draw the Fibonacci spiral. Um, just for something to do, just to see if this is even possible. And um, you know how it's generated? It's generated by the series, the Fibonacci series of numbers, which are 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 133, 244, etc., etc., etc. So um, I'm going to... Uh, Start by drawing a square, one unit by one unit. I'm using the rectangle command. There it is. Now, since the second square is also one by one, I'm just going to copy this. The third square is two by two. That didn't work. The next square is 3 by 3. The next square is 5 by 5. The next square is uh, 8 by 8. And this next one will probably be the last one, just so it all fits on the screen. Even though I can zoom a billion times over, I want you to see even the small square is at 13, 13. Now, I have to change layers here because I want the next stuff I draw to have a different color. Okay. I think I should zoom in for this part. We're going to draw arcs. Quarter circles. from opposite corners of these squares, and then connect them. Because this one's the same, I'm just going to mirror it. See what's starting to take place? In AutoCAD, arcs are always drawn anti-clockwise. Got to remember that. <laughs> That's it. Now we're done. Uh, it was more of an experiment to see how it came out, even with a crummy old camera. And I decided to do this because AutoCAD is what I do best. And I'm inviting you, if you have any projects or something you want drawn or something I can help you with, I'm not going to do your work for you, but if you want to see something, if there's something I can show you in AutoCAD, you know, uh, let me know. It would, might be kind of fun. Now, this was certainly quick and quick enough. I'm not talking about the importance of the Fibonacci series in terms of Renaissance art or architecture on how it is the growth pattern of God. I'm not going to tell you how it appears on everything from the way hair grows to the top of your head to spiral arms of a gallery. I'm not going to tell you how widespread and important this is, but I just did. I just wanted to draw it. Okay, everybody. God bless you. I love you all. We'll see how this goes. Take good care. Bye-bye.